Okay, welcome back to my recycling center. Okay, if you didn't catch the last episode, we have a scrap tire. We have waste material. We have a repair center, or a testing center. Basically, it tells you if some the electronics or appliance works. <clears throat> and that way we can sell it. Appliances, oh, we got a customer. Some timber, we got bulk, we got recycling, residential waste, and we have our self point. Okay, let's see, we got a lamp, a chair, and a desk. Okay, a desk is going to be timber. Looks like an all wood desk. And we got a bulk chair. And we got a lamp. Which is considered electronic. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get up to 125 um, thumbs up because I want to get we're working towards getting our next kind. We can do glass right now, but hold on, I'm gonna clear my throat. <coughs> Alright, that's the problem with recording at six o'clock in the morning. Is it uh I don't know if I want to do construction materials, garden, or clothes. I think maybe construction material. Construction waste. And then we'll need one of the bigger bins for construction waste. Oh, we got a pool table. Let's sell that. Yeah, 160 bucks. Nice. Want to buy a pool table? Only 160 bucks. Okay, that's bulk. And we got a couch. That'll be bulk. And these are recyclable. might be fun because then we could use the wood chipper mm. and that's the glass one let's do the wood I want to do the um, the wood and then and I have enough oh no I don't well, we got to get the 125 before I can get that because that'll unlock it Ooh, a football table Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that was a sneeze. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is this? A dishwasher. This is the first dishwasher I've seen. See if it works. Nope. So, we'll just throw it in the... Hopefully it's a shipping appliance. I have had a toaster that they said was electric. Con electronics. Yeah, not bad. Hundred bucks compared to twenty. So I can set up a game room out of my sailing selling place. That looks metal. And it's, uh, it's just a cardboard box, so that's going to be waste paper. And what do we got? Oh, the TV. Let's see if it's functioning. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Got my mom's 46 inch TV for her room off out of a junkyard. But we didn't get charged. We just, we can, it's just free. 
Nice. You bought the cool table. <laughs> One fifteen. Ten more. We can get our for the branches and stuff. See how long does it take to run to the very back? Eh, pretty quick, because once we have machines going all the way back. Oh, and this, the auto opener just is a lifesaver. You used to have to run all the way over to it to open it. Okay, let's see, we got some waste. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, cool. He bought a keyboard. Good. Kind of wish that the cars would be more like lining up at the gate. Kind of like uh, supermarket simulator where the customers line up at the registers. And the way I wish dealer simulator was like a line of cars, line of people. I stopped playing dealer simulator because of that fact. It just takes way too long for between customers. As soon as they do an update where there's a line of customers out the door, or at least four or five people standing at the at the door, then I'll start doing play, you know, gameplays of that game again. But right now it's not not worth it. It takes too long to to edit out all the downtime between customers. That's why if you're wondering why you haven't been seeing any dealer simulator videos on my channel, that is the reason. Hey, we got a lot of residential waste here. This is where the cart comes in handy. Like this, because if I had to run every one of these over individually, that would be a pain. And you got to be careful when you're doing this. Don't knock them, because they do not like warp through each other. You'll knock them through the the cart wall. See how it knocked it right out. Okay, let's uh. Wow, slow. If you go backward, oh jeez. The cart could definitely use some work. <laughs> it does not work very well. See, look at that. It it jumps and then you end up warping through things and it just knocks all the bags around. So maybe it wasn't worth putting them all in this cart because see, I'm just I'm turning normally and it's taking forever for it to turn. So I don't know. They they need to work on fixing that the cart. The steering on it is horrible. The cart should be one of the easiest things to use. That is handy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> See, it, it catches and it's like, ugh. It's frustrating. It's like the frog in my throat. <laughs> I just want it to be gone. Stop. See, it knocked the bags all over. These are all the bags I had in there already. They got knocked all over the place. <clears throat> well, come on. Here we go. What have you what are you cleaning out? good. Okay, we're not going to try to overfill it because as you saw, overfilling it does not work. I'm just going to go around this way. 
that. That worked out a little better. As long as you don't <coughs> try to make tight, tight turns, tight turns do not work. try to turn you can try to make so you do big long stretches you can't be turning and running at the same time okay um, let's see we got some more here okay, we got the tire let's take the tire and put it on here getting done with the videos and stuff and I was looking at the time I'm like oh my goodness it's already like 11 o'clock 12 or oh, no it's it like already 12 o'clock I'm like what usually I work till 11 which you no know, old time it was still 11 o'clock and I don't like when waking up when it's still dark out I would rather it get dark earlier so we changed all of our clocks back to the old pre spring forward so for me, all of my clocks sit at 6.30 right now, not 7.30, which is so much nicer. It gives me an extra hour making videos. It's not like we have anything, like, time-wise. We don't need, you know, we don't have any schedules that are, you know, based on time. What? That was a propane tank. That's hazardous material. Why was that wrong? Oh, I should have checked it. But still, no. That's hazardous. That doesn't make sense. It's like the toaster again. Let's see if the microwave is working. Nice. Okay. We'll sell the microwave. Not much profit in it, but...
better than nothing. Whoops. I'll have to get that uh, cart out of the way. Oh no! Where did that go? <laughs> it's like, uh oh. <laughs> At least it didn't land in one of the other bins, because then it would have got me dinged. That waste. Residential waste. Let's get this thing out of the way. And a tire. Make sure you hit this button before you send them away. Because the tire has to be processed before it'll accept it. There it goes. Okay. I think that's everything. chips in it. Nice. Okay, well I'm going to leave it at this. I, I was going to see if I could wait until we got some garden waste, but I think we're just going to leave it at this and next episode. Look forward to seeing some branches and stuff get shredded. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know in the comments. Thank you, Chris and Heather, for being channel members and supporters of the channel. I appreciate it very much. If anybody else is interested, I do offer through super thanks and channel memberships. Have a great rest of your day.